Hi and welcome back to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. Now before you start building an Oracle Math application, there are a few things you need to do to set up the environment. And in this video, we'll step you through the setting up the development environment so that you can start building your first Math application. So what do you need to do to get started? Well, there are really only two setup tasks you need to perform before you can get started developing. The first is you need to install the math design time into your IDE that you're going to be developing in. Now, I'm going to focus on JDeveloper setup in this video, but if you want to follow specific instructions for setting up OP, you can check out the documentation or we have other videos on this channel that cover OP, Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse. Now, with JDeveloper 12.1.3, the math design time comes as a separate downloadable extension. But don't worry, it's very quick and very easy to install. From the Help menu in JDeveloper, select Check for Updates, and then from the Check for Updates dialog, you can select to install the Mobile Application Framework extension. The next step you have to follow is to install the appropriate SDK. Now, what's an SDK, I hear you asking? Well, when you develop a math application, remember it's deployed as a native application to either Android or iOS. And for each of those platforms, you need the native libraries and the tools from Google or Apple in order to build that native application. And just one point to clarify in case you didn't know, because of legal restrictions from Apple, you can only develop iOS applications on Macs since the iOS SDK can only be installed on a Mac. Okay, so you have to go and find the appropriate SDK that you want to use. And you can do a quick Google or you can always refer back to the Oracle Math documentation for how to install the SDK. But one thing to be clear on here is that the exact version of the SDK you should install may be different with different versions of Oracle Math. So always go back and look at the documentation on OTN to check the minimum versions of the SDK that you need for the appropriate platform. Having installed the appropriate SDK, you have to tell the IDE where it's been installed. Now in JDeveloper on Windows, you go to the Tools Preferences menu. On a Mac, it would be the JDeveloper Preferences menu. And here you'll be presented with the Preferences dialog. So select the Mobile Application Framework option and then choose your platform. Here I'm setting up for Android and I can specify where the SDK is installed, the platform location and the build tools location as well. And if you're developing for iOS, you will similarly define the location of the iOS simulator, your Xcode directory and your iTunes location. Now, when it comes to testing your math application, you have three options. You can deploy to a platform-specific file. So for Android, that would be an APK file, an Android package. Or for iOS, it's an IPA file, which is an iOS package archive. You can also deploy directly to a device which is attached to your development machine. Or you can use a software emulator or simulator on the development machine. Now for iOS, if you followed the steps up until now, then your iPhone and your iPad simulator should already be set up. For Android, we have to perform a few more steps. Now again, I always recommend that you follow the steps in the official documentation. However, I'll briefly outline the steps here for your awareness. Now because you've already installed the Android SDK, then you've already installed the Android emulator since that is actually part of the SDK. But what you have to do now is configure what devices you want emulated. And we also recommend a further step which should improve the performance of the Android emulators. So firstly, you launch the Android SDK Manager. One way of doing this is from where you installed Android, go to the SDK, then Tools directory, 
and you can run the android.bat file. This opens the SDK manager which allows you to manage and update the various elements of your Android SDK. Now currently, generally speaking, the performance of Android emulators is less than ideal. So to fix this, we recommend you install Intel's Hardware Accelerated Executions Manager or Axim. This will massively improve the performance of the emulator. So from the SDK manager, you can install the accelerator, then you separately have to then execute it to complete the installation. Again, please refer to the documentation for all the exact steps that you need to complete this. The final step is to start configuring the various types of Android device that you want to emulate. So going back to the Android SDK manager, go to the menu and select Tools Manage AVD, Android Virtual Devices. And here you can define the characteristics of each device that you want to test against, for example, the device type, the Android version. And ensure you select Intel Atom x86 uh, as the CPU. That's ensuring you're using the access optimized drivers for the emulators. And if all's gone well, and you should now be able to start your Android emulator, and you're ready to go to start developing. So in this episode, you've configured and set up your environment, and you're now ready to start developing your math applications. So thanks for watching this video, and look out for the next one in the series.